What's going on, fellow Maplers? The Adventures Deep Dark Critical Ring is available as a part of the Moment Tree Event Reward Shop live in game through June 13th. This video will cover absolutely everything you need to know in order to determine if this ring is a must buy, hot garbage, or somewhere in between. I've actually been recommending this ring a lot lately, but I always get pushback from others saying it's one of the worst in the shop simply because it can't get potential. So let me fire off the two neurons still functioning in my head after recovering from the flu and give you a rundown to help you make the best decision for your account. So let's dive right in. The Adventure Deep Dark Critical Ring offers similar stats to the other top event rings with 20 all stat, attack, and 1000 HP and MP. Unique to this ring, it offers additional stats of 15 critical rate and 5 critical damage at the expense of not being able to receive potential. So the obvious question here, and the first big trade-off that we'll address, is whether it's better to have 15 crit rate and 5 crit damage or main stat potential lines if you were to go to the potential route. Before I do any math, however, this is a guaranteed 20 of the best offensive stats in the game versus an alternative ring that requires further investment and luck to get an equivalent amount of useful stat, not even considering how effective those stats are yet. To understand why critical rate and damage are so good, it's helpful to understand a bit about damage calculations. I'll keep it simplified because it doesn't need to be perfect or confusing to get the point across. Your base damage is a function of stats like attack, primary and secondary stats, weapon multiplier, etc. It then takes that value and multiplies it by skill damage, and stats like percent damage are additive to that skill damage multiplier. This lump sum base value is then multiplied by final damage and other types of final damage. Critical damage acts as a type of final damage multiplied to that base at the end of the formula. When you attack a monster, it takes the value from that rough formula and rolls each line of the attack against your critical rate. When successful, it results in a critical hit, which gives a base multiplier between 120 and 150% damage, which takes into account almost all your other damage bonuses. As every percentage damage in the range is equally likely, an easy way to look at that damage increase is by taking the median. So on average, you will hit 135% of your base damage when you crit. Right? And that's with no critical damage. For every point of critical damage, this range shifts up by one on both ends. So 5% crit damage buff moves the critical range from 120 to 150 over to 125 to 155 increasing the median by the same amount, so 140% now. Let's take a look at me smacking some mushrooms as an example. You can see my base damage hits are between 13, 14 million, but when I crit, I hit around 24 million. I have a 47.5% critical hit damage boost, so my median accounting for that base is 182.5%, just that 135 plus 47.5. And to quickly check, Let's take a look at the 24 million critical hit and divide it by the 13 million normal hit to see, oh, 184% of the normal hit, well within the expected range. On top of this, critical rate is easily thought of as an effectiveness multiplier. If you only had 85% critical rate, that bonus damage would only happen 85% of the time. So an example with no crit damage, that 135% base average increase would only be 129.75%. So getting up to 100% crit rate would be a 5.25% flat damage increase. You can start to see how this scales your damage incredibly well when maximized. Final damage types like this also scale really well when your base damage raises. As your base goes up, the impact of 1% increase in crit damage or rate improves as well. This simple math just really showcases why so many people recommend getting the very limited sources of crit damage and rate as high as possible through legion, legendary potential on gloves, link skills, and buffs. To get this essentially for free on a ring is incredible. But you know, hey, everyone likes data and numbers to prove a point, so let's do an actual example of a 1% difference in crit damage first percent main stat to show this impact by taking a look at my hero boss mule. To keep it simple, I'm not gonna be buffing my character and I have this pair of boots with 3% strength 
15 main stat and one attack on it to look at the percent stat effectiveness. To offset these other bonuses, I will be just adding three blocks to strength and one to attack on the legion grid when taking the base damage value. Let's walk through critical damage first as it's super simple. So let's look at the max value in the damage range. The base value I'm starting with is 1.43 million and a 1% increase in critical hit damage is just a flat 1% increase in that range. So that 1% change will result in about a 14,000 increase. Now, after taking off the Legion bonuses, I equip the boots to see I have a similar range increase from that base of about 11,000. However, this is the increase from 3% main stat. Divide this by 3 to get the range increase of 1% main stat, or about 3,700. Stick that on the denominator and the 14,000 on the numerator to see a 1% crit damage is worth about 3.88% main stat for my unbuffed character. This isn't a perfect calculation here, this will vary based on so many factors, but I just want to hammer in just how effective the crit damage alone is. So just from that 5% crit damage, I'm looking at needing at least 2 lines of main stat on a legendary ring to make up for the 1 line already given here. I mean, that's a no brainer. No investment into the ring at all. On top of that, it's assuming no impact of the critical rate you get from the ring. Getting 100% critical rate is hard in the early game, but becomes much easier in the later game. If you struggle to get 100% critical rate on your character, you don't even need to watch further. The ring is best in slot for you, hands down, no competition. Using that same effectiveness multiplier analogy, getting 15% critical rate, and mind you, without any bonus critical damage, which would make it even better, is like getting 15% more of that average 35% built-in base critical damage multiplier. In other words, a flat 5.25% damage increase. Look, no amount of stat on a ring is compensating for that. However, let's assume 100% critical rate is not that hard for you. You have multiple sources that you can get plenty of critical rate from. Then, you start to take a look at alternatives. Instead of that 10% crit rate in a link skill and 5 legion blocks or hyper stat points, now what can you invest in? Oh, look at that. For my character, there's this 10% all stat buff. That's just as good as a legendary prime line in main stat, and that's not even the best damage alternative in here. Not only that, I have those 5 legion blocks or hyper stat that I can move as needed. There's so much flexibility with it, but you get my point. And let me reiterate, again, the ring comes with these stats already. No investment. But enough about the crit ring. Let's look at the ring everyone keeps recommending instead, the chaos ring. And don't get me wrong, this is by no means a bad option. There are many good rewards in the store. I just want to showcase one that seems to be misrepresented. That being said, this ring has an additional 10 all stat and a marginal amount of HP and MP increase not a big deal. However, it has the unique ability to re-roll its potential up to unique 10 times a week. Great, another low investment ring. However, to outcompete just the crit damage part of the deep dark crit ring, you would need to roll 3 line main stat at least on unique potential to hit that 18% equivalency. For a quick thought experiment, we need to roll 3 lines of useful stat percentage from a list of 18 potential options. To not bore you with even more math, I just used this formula, if you're curious, for 816 combinations of 3 stats. Our odds are actually slightly better because the first line is always prime, or just a highest percentage stat roll, and there are 9 unique options. Also, if you accept percent all stat, there are 6 potential combinations that get at least 18% stat. In other words, a 6 in 816, or a 1 in 136 chance of getting at least 18 stat on the ring. There are some other considerations like all stat being prime, and that being rarer on the other two lines, but the point is, it's pretty rare. It would take you on average 3.5 months to roll this for free, and again, just to be better than the crit damage line, not the crit rate. Right? I can do that whole spiel again on legendary potential, but at that point, you're now talking about meso spent and still not at the same value of the adventure deep dark critical ring. 
You now have to play a game of chance to try to roll good potential. And Mesos would be better spent anyway on Star Force for stats rather than trying to take this ring to Legendary. The only reason you might want to go to Legendary Potential is for the unique accessory lines, 20% Meso and 20% Drop Rate. But this brings me to my final point of the video. You only really need these line items on your main or mains if you like horizontal progression. And even then, these rings are placeholders as you will eventually want these lines on a ring that can reach 22 Star Force so that it actually has enough useful stats to help you one hit mobs in the late game. In fact, all these event rings are really just free ring slot fillers for your mules. So moving on to mules, if you are building mules, there's actually zero benefit to meso and drop lines unless you're going past 220 up to 250 maybe to eke out some mesos and node stones on that grind. But ideally a boss mule nets you as much profit for your main as possible with minimal time investment. Profit is revenue minus expenses. So reduce your expenses as much as possible. Take the glorious ring that offers better offensive stats and requires no investment at all. Thanks for making it all the way to the end. Make sure to critical strike that like and subscribe button you absolute units. Until next time.